everyone, this is Joel Kennedy with Kennedy Violins. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about Dedeshestro. So I'm just gonna show you what it is, and then I'm gonna give you some ways to practice it so you can easily improve your stroke. Okay, so what is Dedeshe stroke? Well, Dedeshe is just French for detached. So it basically just means any stroke where you have one note per bow stroke, and they're all separate. So you're not gonna use any slurs, right? So you have long strokes, and you have short strokes, and then you have some in between, but as long as they're not connected and they're separated, they're Dedeshe stroke. Now, Dedeshe strokes are also the same, so every stroke that you play will be similar. Okay, so how do you practice Dedeshe strokes? Well, you want to basically do two things. You want to make sure that you are looking and you're listening to your stroke to easily improve what you're doing. Now, I would suggest that anytime you practice Dedeshe stroke, you practice like repeated notes or you practice repeated notes with scales. Now that's the best thing to do. Scales are awesome. Scales are the easiest way to practice playing in tune and to warm up. So scales are great. So I suggest that any kind of practice that you do, whether it's long notes or short notes, you use scales. So you can use long notes. <laughs> right? Or even shorter notes. Or shorter. Right? Pretty simple. Now, the thing is, though, is that you, you want to have a really quality dead eche stroke. So you, like I was saying before, you want to look and listen. So what do you want to look for? Well, there's two things that you want to look for when you're practicing your dedeshe stroke. So one, you want to make sure that your bow is straight. The easiest way to make sure it's straight is to compare your bow to the bridge. Make sure that your bow is parallel to the bridge, no matter what kind of stroke that you're doing. So you want to be obsessed with this area, your bow contact area. You want to be obsessed with that. You're looking at that to make sure that your bow is parallel with the bridge for the entire bow stroke. Right? Okay, so the other thing that you're looking for is that you want to make sure that you are always using the same part of the bow. So you could do a do dedeshe stroke here. In the middle, or even at the frog, right? But you want to make sure because remember, dedeshe. <clears throat> you every stroke means that every stroke is going to be the same. So you're you're striving for consistency. So you want every stroke to look and sound the same. So you want to make sure that you're playing each stroke in the same part of the bow. Another way to say it is you want to make sure that you're using the same hair for every stroke. So let's say, for example, you're not using the same hair. That means that as you're playing, you're going to migrate towards another part of the bow, which you don't want to do. So for this example, I'll kind of migrate towards the tip. Right? You don't want to do that. You also don't want to migrate towards the frog. Right? So if you're using the same hair, then it's gonna, your bow is going to stay in the same spot. Okay? So that basically covers, you know, the looking part. Now, let me add a little bit of a helpful hint for you. It's going to be very difficult for you to keep your bow straight in particular unless you pay a lot of attention to how you use your bow. So you want to look at two parts of your bow arm in particular. You want to look at your hand, your pinky in particular, your, your pinky on the bow. So you want to make sure it's bent. It's not straight, but it's bent. And you want to look at your elbow 
and your shoulder. You wanna make sure that they are moving, that they're not locked. Now, I've done a whole video about playing with a straight bow. I'll put the description or the note, uh, the um, a link in the description so you can check out that video. Um, so I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail right now. But the gist of it is, is that <clears throat> If, if your elbow is locked, it'll make your bow go crooked. So I'll show you, I'll lock my elbow. So this is open elbow, this is a locked elbow, right? So you see how that bow goes crooked? So now you open up the elbow. So the other thing you wanna look out for is the position of your hand. So as you're practicing to keep that bow straight, you wanna look at that hand. You can, you can adjust it so you're going this way or you're going this way, right? You wanna make sure you adjust it so it's going, so it's in the right spot. So if I adjust my bow this way, the bow will go crooked. If I adjust the bow too much this way, the bow will go crooked. So you experiment with where your hand is and then that will change whether your bow is straight or not. get it just right, your bow will stay pretty much straight. Now short, short strokes are the easiest, long strokes are much more difficult. So the longer strokes, then having that really good technique with your bow arm will be more important. So you really want to pay attention to your, your elbow and this, right? Having that bent pinky, because you want to have that flexibility in your hand, that collé movement. You want to have that flexibility. Okay, so for listening, you're basically listening for two things. Number one, you wanna make sure that you're not accenting the bow stroke. And number two, you wanna make sure that you're not changing the volume of your note throughout the bow stroke, or you're not swelling, right? So is, in terms of the accents, you don't wanna accent the down bow or the up bow. Now, a lot of times what people might do is they might, they might accent the down bow, but not accent the up bow. So it would sound like this. Mm -hmm. Right, you don't want to do that. Or the opposite. Mm -hmm. All right, so you don't want any accents at all. Okay, the other thing that you want to avoid is swelling. You want to make sure that you don't change the volume. So it's very easy to decrescendo, you know, to get quieter towards the tip, and, or to uh, crescendo, or swell, or get louder um, towards the frog, or as you approach the frog. So here's what I mean. Right, or... Right, so you, you want every stroke to be the same. That's what you're listening for. And a really easy uh, trick to use is just close your eyes. So close your eyes and see if you can honestly not tell the difference between your down bows and your up bows. Now obviously you're gonna know because you can feel what you're doing, but you wanna listen as carefully as you can. Now you could also have somebody else listen to you. Of course, it could be your teacher, it could be a friend, friend, your friend, family member, whatever, but have them listen and see if they can tell if you're playing a down bow or up bow. So if nobody can tell, you know, then you know, you're probably on the right track where your bow strokes are consistent, they're even, and they're all sounding the same. Okay, so I think that pretty much covers, you know, the look and the listen part of it. Remember, you wanna look to make sure your bow, stroke is, your bow stroke is straight and you're using the same part of your bow every time and you're using the same hair for every bow stroke. And then you wanna listen to make sure you're not accenting any of the bow strokes and you're not swelling or changing the volume for any of your bow strokes. So if you guys have any other questions or anything like that, just put them below. You know, I answer most all the questions that I get on uh, YouTube. And of course, I'm on Instagram and Facebook. You can DM me or message me. And I'm always happy to answer any of the questions that you guys might have. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell because uh, you, you'll get a notification when I create a new video. And I'm always creating new videos. And of course, don't forget, you know, here at Kennedy Violins, you know, we're all players and teachers. Uh, we've been doing this for almost 20 years. Um, so we've got a lot of experience and we can answer just about any kind of questions you have. So yeah, that's about it. Have a nice day, guys.